Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about absolute value applications and where we see them. Okay, and so oftentimes it has to deal with some things distance away from what we want. Okay, so the equation here is actually going to be the absolute value of x minus what we ideally want, what we hope it will be like, what our goal is, right? And then depending on the question, it will either be less than or greater than how far off we can be, which we call the margin of error. So this is our equation. So the absolute value of x minus our ideal or our goal, what we want, and then depending on the question, either less than or greater than what we call our margin of error. How far off can we be? Okay, so let's start with this first question. So in a poll of 100 people, Misty's approval rating as a mayor is 78% with a 3% margin of error. We want to write an absolute value inequality that models the situation and then we want to solve the inequality. Okay, so here X represents Misty's approval rating. Right, that's what we're talking about here. Okay. And so our absolute value equation is X minus the ideal. So ideally, if this poll is correct, then her approval rating is 78%. So ideally, if this is correct, 78% of the people like Misty. Okay, so there's no need to write the percent sign, actually. Okay. And here, we want to know how far off it could be. So we want to be within the margin of error, so it can either equal to, we can be 3% off. Okay? And so that's what it means here by 3% margin of error. Okay? Right, so ideally, we think 78% of people like Misty. We can be off by about 3%, though. So here, this is a less than, it's an and inequality. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up as an and inequality. Okay, so I'm gonna do it as a single one. You can do it where you split it up, that's fine, and then rewrite it at the end, okay? So here, it is gonna be between, we can be positive three or negative three off, okay? So then I'm gonna solve it, I'm gonna add 78. Okay, negative 3 plus 78 is 75. Negative 78 plus 78 is 0, and then 3 plus 78 is 81. Okay, so what does this mean? Again, X is Misty's approval rating. So that means that really Misty's approval rating is between 75% and 81%, right? So ideally we are at 78, but maybe we estimated too much and really it's 75, or we estimated too little and really it's 81%, okay? And normally when we have that equal to and we're talking, we also write inclusive, meaning it includes that 75 and that 81% as well, okay? So let's look at the next one. So here, according to the NFL rules, a football used in a game must have an air pressure of 13 PSI, and we can be off by 0 0.5, either a plus or minus, okay? Here, we want to write an absolute value inequality that models this range of acceptable air pressure, and we want to solve it, okay? So here, we're finding air pressure, so X equals the air pressure of the football. Okay, so we know that ideally it should be 13 PSI. However, what we realize is that we can be off by, four, uh, by 0.05, right? So ideally 13. However, we realize that we can be off by 0 0.5, right? So it has to be less than or equal to 0 0.5 away. If it's more than that, 
we will not accept this football. You cannot use it to play again. Yep. So here it is. Again, less than. So this is our and inequality. Negative 0 0.5. Less than or equal to x minus 13. And then our positive 0 0.5. Which is why you see here that we could be off by either positive or negative 0 0.5. Okay, then all I'm going to do is solve by adding 13. Okay, when I do this, I end up with 12.5 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 13.5. So what this means is that the acceptable air pressure... is between 12.5 and 13.5 PSI, and this is inclusive, right, because of the equal to. Okay, let's flip. Okay, I'm going to have you do the next one on your own, so read it. Read it on your own, and then I want you to define the variable. Okay, so read the equation, and then define the variable. What does x represent? Okay, defining the variable, you should have written that x represents the number of golf balls or amount of golf balls in a box. Okay, now what I want you to do is to write the absolute value inequality that represents this situation. Okay, so this is the absolute value inequality we want, right? So we can, we ideally want 390 golf balls in a box. However, we accept that we can be off by six golf balls, okay? Now I want you to solve it and then answer the question in a complete sentence. How many golf balls is acceptable in a box? Okay, here's what you should have gotten when you solved it. The acceptable amount of golf balls in a box is 384 to 396 inclusive. Okay. I'm going to have you do the last one on your own. So please answer the question. Define the variable for me. Okay. So X should represent the number of seeds in the package. Okay, and then now write the absolute value inequality that represents this situation. Okay, this is the absolute value inequality you should have written. And then last, answer the question. What are the maximum and minimum number of seeds that could be in a package? Please write your answer in a sentence. And this is what you should have gotten. The minimum number of seeds is 22 and the maximum is 28. That's it for today. Have a great rest of the day. Bye, guys.